Today's video is a very, very important announcement for anyone who uses a MacBook that has been produced in the past five years. If they have the M1, M2, or M3 chips, please watch this video. There is an important security flaw that has been released, and there's really important things you need to know about it, as well as how to protect yourself, especially if you are a cryptocurrency investor. All right, let's get into it. So. Uh, there's a team of researchers, about seven researchers from different universities that have found a huge security flaw with these M1, M2, M3 chips that were manufactured and put into practice from Apple in certain MacBook products. First, I'm going to read from you the actual research paper, and then I'm going to try to digest that information and give you guys maybe a more layman's friendly way to to uh, interpret this information. But first we need to know is that this information was responsibly disclosed to Apple the first week of December, 2023. It has now been 100 days since that responsible disclosure. They gave them plenty of time to warn their users that they chose to, to try to find a solution. Uh, and now these researchers have published this uh, this information to be made public. That's why it's all over the place. It's really important for you to know this. So I'm going to go ahead and read this from uh, the research team themselves. This is from Ars Technica, their website. They've just, um, so this type of attack that they've developed to manipulate these chips is called the GoFetch app or the GoFetch attack. And what happens is a side channel allowing end-to-end -end key extractions when Apple chips run implementations of widely use cryptographic protocols that can't be patched because it stems from the micro architectural design of the silicon itself. Instead, it can only be mitigated by building defenses into third party cryptographic software that could drastically degrade M series performance when executing cryptographic operations, particularly on the earlier M1 and M2 generations. The vulnerability can be exploited when the targeted cryptographic operation and the malicious application with normal user system privileges run on the same CPU close cluster. So that's from them. And here, here I'm going to try to explain it in a more easily digestible way. If I have watered, watered this down way too much, if I missed the plot, please let me know in the comments down below so that for those who are watching and myself, we can learn what's really going on. Um, so what I took from that is basically what was once a feature is now a huge security flaw because these chips were designed in a way that would allow for future behavior to be more easily predicted so that data storage and retrieval could be done faster. This attack leverages this capability so that vulnerable information can be predicted and taken advantage of by malicious actors. So. What it means is when your computer is running tasks and fetching information that should be uh, secured by encryption, this malicious app can run side by side with your own honest activities on your computer and they can see the activities and predict what will be returned, which should be protected as a secret is more easily uh, understood by that application for what it actually is. So remember, encryption allows the sender and receiver to communicate to each other in a secret way without the whole of the internet knowing exactly what is happening. It, it's what it allows for privacy, that only the sender and the receiver will know what is actually happening within that transaction itself. And the way that these chips, these M1, M2, M3 chips from Apple, the way they've been been designed is in order to facilitate a faster, more powerful computer with these chips, uh, I think that unless I'm wrong, please correct me if I am, uh, they've been, there's uh, some like future predictability of what will be returned as far as information has become apparent. And that is what this malicious attack is taking advantage of. So again, Apple was notified about this the first week of December took 100 days, now it's you know free game. These, these researchers have now made this public information. What's really, informa what's really interesting and I mean concerning from Apple is that apparently as of October, they had a patch, a fix 
for this for the M3 chips, but they never made it public until four days ago. So basically, their their hand was forced to make this fix uh, publicly available for the developers of Apple so they can implement this fix for the M3 chip, but they wouldn't have even known about that unless these researchers made this information public in the first place. So maybe that means that Apple knew this was a huge security flaw and either they didn't have a fix for it yet or they were hoping that no one would find out that this was a, a security flaw and they just... Uh, didn't warn the public, didn't, they don't have a solution yet. Again, the solution, it's uh, explained uh, in their article where uh, it can be mitigated by building defenses into third party cryptographic software that could drastically degrade M series performance. So basically, it means any activity, any processing that's happening on your computer. You can protect yourself against this type of attack by running all of that activity on another third-party software type of filter, and that filter will drastically downgrade your capabilities of your computer. It's going to run very slow. So as a crypto user, what does this mean? Number one, we're going to look for wallet providers that have software wallets like Exodus, MetaMask, Phantom, uh, web-based wallets, uh, soft wallets that you have on your computer, software-based wallets. We're going to look for patches from these from these companies that addresses this issue. I really hope that they come with one fast. Um, another thing that you can do possibly is use this third-party software filter. Maybe the next round of MacBooks coming out are going to have a new and improved chip that addresses and fixes this issue. Again, if you have an M3 chip, it's possible that there is a fix on the way for you. Developers have known that a fix is possible as of four days ago. But here is the most important information that anyone using a MacBook that's been, that's been produced in the past five years, you need to Cease and desist ever using public Wi-Fi. Don't do it. Do not connect your computer on public Wi-Fi at an airport, at a hotel, at a cryptocurrency conference. That would be a huge mistake. You now need to know that this information is publicly available. And anyone who might even be a hint of a hacker is going to try to hack anyone that they can. And being in cryptocurrency, that could be a very lucrative business for them. It could be a way for them to take these profits and filter it through decentralized exchanges into privacy coins and get away with it. So how do we do this? We defend ourselves by not connecting to public Wi-Fi, only connecting to your private own Wi-Fi that you own and control. And if you have to connect your Wi-Fi, if you have to connect your computer while you're on the go, use your own portable router. Now, if you are using a portable router, if you are using your own Wi-Fi at home, especially if you're in an apartment complex or in houses that are close together or a condominium where you see a bunch of Wi-Fi is listed and someone else could potentially join your Wi-Fi network and manipulate it, there's really easy ways to bolster your security of your own personal Wi-Fi. I'm going to provide a link to it down below in the video description. Very important. It's very easy to do. Change the name, change the password, something that cannot be easily manipulated by someone who might want to target you to get to your cryptocurrencies. Furthermore, if you're thinking, oh man, it's okay, I have a hardware wallet. Even if you are using, you should never do this anyway. Uh, all, of this, all of these tips should already be implemented just as basic security features of you as a user of the internet and as a cryptocurrency investor. But do not use your computer on public Wi-Fi and then connect your hardware wallet. Even that possibly is not safe. It's okay to be safer than sorry. It's better to be safer than sorry. You do not want to get hacked. So again, I hate making these videos. They are so important though. Please hit like and subscribe if you found this to be informative. And I sure help that these tips will prevent you from being hacked in the very near future so that you can continue to enjoy this bull market, you guys. Especially for those of you who, who followed us in the trade into PAL AI. That one is kicking off a uh, new announcement from SpaceX, I believe, is uh, interesting for that one. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you want to know more what we're up to in our crypto endeavors, check out learningcrypto.com. You won't regret it. 
Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.